Yaho! Welcome to Kota's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a homegrown spring salad. So two vegetables is coming from my garden. Shungiku and lettuce. Let's get to this. So shungiku is usually used for hot pot, but today we are going to use it for the fresh salad. You can just take the leaf out like this. And then once the stem is getting thinner, you can use it in the salad. So what I'm going to do is just cut in small pieces. In this salad, I'm going to use this king oyster mushroom. Next, lettuce. If you like to add the protein to top the salad, you can use chicken. So this is a, this is a boiled chicken, so you can just cut it on your one bite size. All right, it is time to all mix together. Uh, we have a uh, today office manager to help me mixing. So, uh, Ryan. Yes. Yeah, let's get to this. All right. Uh, can you pass me the uh, lettuce? Sure. Here you go. All right. So this is the chopped lettuce from last night. Next, uh, shungiku, please. Right, we are going to add thin sliced onion and red pepper. Keep. So for this thin sliced onion, please make sure that you soaked sliced onion in the water for at least 10 minutes before adding in. And then for the bell pepper, this is just for the color of it. Green, white, and then red. That makes it everything gorgeous. And then, uh, can you pass me the uh, chopped uh, oyster mushroom? Oh, you eat. <laughs> yeah, of course you can eat this. I have to taste Wrong. test it. It's for you. Sure. Just to make sure it's good. Okay, half is good. All right, and then I just wanted to make it as very Japanese, so I'm adding seaweed. All right, this is also prepared seaweed. All right, adding like half over here. Right, thank you. And then just mix it with a hand. Okay, for those, okay, for those uh, who think that seaweed is comes with a like, bit dried. So you have to soak in the water to soften it. It takes about three minutes. And then after three minutes, you take it out, squeeze the water out, and then you just chop it to your, you know, eating size. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm, always this happens. I put too much. <laughs> Go watch the Okonomiyaki video. <laughs> yeah, watch. that's right. So you might wonder why we chose to make salad for these segments without using the electric skillet. Uh, just only because I had a lot of spring vegetable from my garden, lettuce and shungiku. I just wanted my colleagues to be eating healthy. I hope you get my wish. All right, so all the vegetables are nicely mixed. And now we are going to add the dressings. And yes, I'm going to make it as a Japanese dressing. So only two dressings. One is the sesame oil. This will make everything very tasty. For this much, you can add lots of sesame oil. Oh, I used that. And of course, soy sauce. Please be careful, not too much. You can always adjust while you're eating it. 
and they mix together. Uh, because soy sauce has a uh, salt in it, so after mixing it, this salad, the volume of the salad will shrink. All right, right now all the king oyster became brownish. That means uh, mixing all well. All right, I uh, can have a dish, please. Oh yeah. No, oh, all right. Well, one is good. All right. So main course is the salad today. So then protein. You can use either chicken or to make it easier, you can use the tuna flake that you can find in an Asian supermarket. This is very, very convenient and very tasty. All right here it is. This is the homegrown spring salad. Uh, today our electric skillet has a day off. 